this video, we are going to show you how to log into your Canix account, what to do if you forget your password, and how you can access the Get Help Center on Canix. Remember, anytime you have questions or need assistance, Canix's elite support team is there to help you every step of the way. We provide phone and email support seven days a week. You can reach out to us at help at canix.com or by calling our support line at 415-894-9884. There are two ways you can access your Canix account, directly from canix.com or from the mobile app. If you click on login, it will take you to app.canix.com. Make sure you save this URL as a bookmark for easy access in the future. The Canix web app will work with all web browsers, but we do have a preference for using Google Chrome on your Windows or Mac computer. You will not be able to access this part of Canix if you do not have a registered organization set up on our platform. You'll need to use the email address and password that was created at the time the organization was set up. If for some reason you forget your password, you can click on the If You Forgot Your Password, click here link underneath the password box on the Canix login page. From there, you can enter your email address that's associated with your Canix account. You will then receive a separate email with a link that you can click on and reset your password. Please keep an eye on your spam or junk folders in case the reset password email from Canix ends up there. Once your password is successfully reset, you can go back to app.canix.com and log in to the Canix web application. The second way you can log into Canix is from the Canix mobile app. The Canix mobile app is available on the Apple App Store for iOS mobile devices and the Google Play Store for Android mobile devices. Check out this YouTube video description for direct links to the Canix mobile app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now we will go through the process of installing the app on a mobile device. Once we have the Canix mobile app installed, we highly encourage that you enable these settings to optimize the performance of the Canix mobile app. You should always allow Canix to access your location. You should have push notifications and alerts turned on, and you should allow automatic software updates. When we go to the App Store, you'll see that I've already searched for Canix. However, you must tap the search icon in the bottom right-hand corner first. Just in case, we can go ahead and retap the icon and type in the application name. Once we search this application, it should be one of the first results that we see. Most universal icons for download is an arrow pointing down paired with a symbol. If we tap on that icon, the app will download. Once it's fully downloaded, the option will change to open. You should tap open and this will allow us to open the Canix app. From here, you're going to input your email address and password that you use at the time of setting up your organization. This should also preferably be the email address that you use while at work. If you forget your password using the Canix mobile app, you will tap on the link that says Forgot Password underneath the green login button. This will take you to enter your email address to reset your password on app.canix.com. There are some key differences between mobile versus web functionality on Canix. The mobile app is great for those employees who are always on the move. It doesn't matter if you're growing, manufacturing, buying, reselling, transporting, or distributing. The mobile app lets you take care of your plants, harvests, packages, and transfers. Canix web app is where you get a little bit more in depth in terms of functionality and features. You can manage your inventory from the Canix web application. You can create and manage your sales orders from the Canix web app. You cannot create sales orders from the Canix mobile app. You can also look at in-depth reporting and forecasting with business tools and business analytics, which is only accessible from the Canix web app. Any administrative privileges you would need to handle can be managed from the Canix web application. Canix's Help Center is going to be one of your closest friends. We recommend bookmarking the URL address to the Help Center. You should see it below, so you can reference it anytime you need self-help.
The Help Center is filled with multiple resources to make sure that you get as acclimated with Canix as efficiently as possible. From general information to frequently asked questions to getting started guides, alongside Canix's elite customer support team, the Self Help Center should be your number one resource for training and Canix knowledge base. So in this video, we showed you how to access the Canix app on web and mobile, how to reset the password for your Canix account, the differences in functionality between the web app and the mobile app, and how to access the Help Center, your number one resource for self-help, knowledge, and all things Canix. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we are uploading new training videos weekly. If you would like to review more information about our product or see it in action, feel free to reach out to us at canix.com.